All right, how's that? Is that better? Let's see if I get a thumbs up. Oh man, everybody missed my intro. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that is working for you guys. Let's see, desktop audio. Let's go. Can you guys hear me now? Hopefully this is gonna work. All right, perfect. All right, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, wow, I went on what, how long was that? Like five minutes without people talking? <laughs> yeah, you all heard nothing. Well, sweet, let me start over really, really quick. So, all right, I'm gonna be doing a recap. I don't know why I did that, I had the microphone plugged up. Actually, it just came unplugged, that's why. All right, this is a little, hopefully a little bit better. So I'm a little bit hoarse. Uh, we had a massive show in Arizona. It was a 400 card sports card show in Arizona and uh, it was a massive success. So I did three times the highest show I've ever done in terms of gross sales. So this is by far the best show I've ever done. So in terms of gauge of the hobby, hobby is alive and well and things are doing really, really well just because I crushed it. <laughs> Two days, Saturday and Sunday. I didn't even set up Friday. I did really, really well. So I just want to tell everybody, these are the only cards that I picked up. So I'm going to go through all the pickups from the show. I didn't walk around and buy anything. I set up as a dealer. Um, you all can see I actually made a game for the show. You all can see that here on this board. So I'll talk a little bit about that. I'm also going to go through some raw cards that I have purchased, which there are four stacks. So we're going to go through those. And then we also have a 85 card mail day that I'm going to go through as well. I'm going to try to do all this in literally an hour. So I'm going to fly through this just because I'm also meeting the BGS rep who was in town at the show. He's leaving uh, here in Phoenix like around three o'clock. So I texted him. I didn't have time to drop anything off, but I have some big, big, big cards that I actually want to drop off to him. So if I can show you all a couple of these, these are the monsters. This is a little bit of a teaser. These are definitely going to be going. So Shohei Otani, um, Mike Trout, dual autograph on card from Topps Pristine. And then also Julio Rodriguez, Red Refractor, numbered one of three. So it's from Bowman Chrome X. So these are going to be going, being dropped off to Beckett. No, I'm not going PSA. You're going to see why I'm not going to be doing PSA here in a second. I also have a stack of slabs. This is from a, an order that I need to go through on the, on the channel, but all of these are going to be cracked and sent to PSA, or sorry, sent to either Beckett or PSA. I haven't decided yet. I've got a little bit of time to decide on what I'm going to do with them, but all right, let's jump into these. So uh, hopefully everybody saw the Otanis a little bit. So these all that are not in top loaders, uh, I ended up paying $250 for this lot, so it's around 23 cards for $250, bucks. so right around $12 a card. I think it's 23 cards. It's more from the low-end uh, Panini stuff. There's a couple of top inserts, but again, all rookies. And again, I got this from a dealer who I've bought Otani's from before. I scratch his back, he scratches my back. We really take care of each other. Um, he doesn't do the graded stuff. I give him good deals on my autographs, especially the nines. He gives me good deals on his... Uh, clean raw stuff because he knows I'll, I'll pay good prices for it. So the next stack, we have four of the sepia ref refractors from 2019, but the rest are going to be rookies. So this is even a Crusades uh, parallel, number 199. Um, then a bunch of the chromes, chrome updates, uh, HMT 32s. Of course, Otani right now is on fire after the World Baseball Classic. Uh, these inserts, these guys are like, PSA 10s are like 300 right now. Obviously, if I got them back, I wouldn't get that out of them. A couple of the Heritage inserts, rookie performers. So I paid $23 a card there. So this stack right here was $600. So again, even if PSA, I know they're horrible right now. If they just give me two PSA 10s right here, that basically pays for the stack. I know it's going to be unlikely. PSA is going to be in a headache right lately. But... So those are the show pickups. These likely will go to PSA, even though I've been really, really down on them lately. So the next 
thing I'll go through is going to be some of the raw cards. And we'll go through these really, really quick as well. These are all the cards that I've bought since maybe around February or so. I just got them um, all opened up, so I want to go through them here. So first up, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa. This is a Chrome Refractor from the Combos. I think people have seen me grade that card. Got a Julio Rodriguez, first Bowman, parallel number 499. Probably a nine. Aaron Judge, Bowman's Best, and I've got two of them in here, so it's a, actually four of them. Bowman's Best Cuts. Patrick Mahomes Select, this is a parallel. Then Mahomes Rookie. Got a ton of Mahomes Silvers, and there's gonna be, the nice stack is gonna be right up here. It's got a nice Aaron Judge, uh, Dynasty Patch. So those are gonna be the ones that are gonna be a little bit more expensive. So we'll put Trout here. Then we'll also put Julio there. That way people can keep seeing him. All right, Shohei Otani, Babe Ruth. Got a couple of these guys currently in PSA slabs. Julio Rodriguez, Throwback Thursday. Aaron Judge, Bazooka. Chrome Update, Base Julio. Atomic Refractor, Otani. I believe that is a rookie. Yes, it doesn't have the logo, but it is. Uh, this is a launched into orbit Aaron Judge. Got a silver Joe Burrows from Select, one of the one of the many tiers that they have. Travis Kelsey Prism. You can see I was getting some of these things right around Super Bowl time or playoff time too. Uh, this is a gosh, I forgot which one that is. That's the call of the Captain Derek Jeter set. Moon Gold Minted from Fire Julio. Mickey Mantle Jersey. I've been buying a lot of these. These these cards don't grade out that well, but a lot of collectors like them. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, this is a parallel from Phoenix, number 149, I believe it's the purple. And then a Giannis Marvels, not the parallel, but just the regular Marvels. All right, so that is the first stack. Well, at least part of the first stack. All right, yeah, the Dynasty Auto is super, super sweet, I like that. All right, so I've got a bunch of these, I'm, I'm not buying these anymore. That's, a, that's part of the last one that we're going to see. Another Julio launched into orbit. This is a maroon Patrick Mahomes parallel. Number two, I believe that's 199. I believe it's 199. Aaron Judge, Gold Refractor from Topps Pristine. Stained Glass Tom Brady. That's one of the case sets from the new Mosaic. I love that product. Such a cool product. Patrick Mahomes, this is the rookie roundup. So I haven't even looked this one over. So all of these I haven't looked over. I just opened them and you know we'll see if they're going to be gradable or, or not gradable. Mike Schmidt. This is a gold mini diamond auto. And then a Clyde the Glide tie-dye auto number 25. So trying to get some autographs, rookies. Of course, I'm getting a lot of Patrick Mahomes, especially after the championship. This stuff really hasn't moved a whole, whole lot, which is kind of good in my opinion right now. At the show, everybody was really focused on baseball. So the things that were selling, obviously Shohei Otani. I had a PSA order that I had just opened up, and I had three of them, brand new at the show, pulled out a Topps Chrome Shohei Otani Refractor PSA 10, sold it for 580 bucks within an hour. And I have another one out there too. So sold two Shohei Otani PSA 10 autographs um, that I did on one of my last live streams. Sold, gosh, a PSA 9 Shohei autograph for $600. $600. Um, Shohei was definitely moving. Ellie de la Cruz was selling a lot as well. Um, if you had Anthony Volpe autographs, you likely sold it. If you had, oh gosh, let's see. If you had Jordan Walker, you probably sold every Jordan Walker card that you had at your table. Especially both of those guys were called up during that weekend as well. So... Both have been on fire in the spring, and then both of them were called up on the weekend of the show. So by the time they were called up, those, all those cards were essentially taken. So another Patrick Mahomes, that's the parallel number 20, or 225. Shio Itani, Topps Chrome Black, uh, Black or Gold Refractor. Gold or orange? Let's see. Gold. All right, Travis Kelsey, this is the base Topps Chrome rookie. 
Joe Burrow. This is a certified. I like that the rookies here are serial numbered. Even the base are serial numbered, which is nice. Josh Allen, certified gold. Right now is a good time to buy football. Right now is not the good time to buy baseball. Everybody is buying, you know, baseball is on fire, so you're going to be paying inflated prices. While everybody is focusing on baseball, it's a good time to start getting some football, especially over the next month or two. Come summer, that's whenever football is going to start ramping up. People are already going to be sick of baseball. You know, they like baseball for a couple of months, but by the All Star break, people are ready to take a nap on baseball. So, this is the absolute best time to be selling baseball. And of course, I have a stack that I'm going to grade. So, <laughs> and that means I'm going to be getting back at the worst time, which is going to be right in October, November, whenever people all care about football. That's usually how that's going to work. All right, Patrick Mahomes. This is the revolution. This is from the new product that just came, or that's no, 2021. All right, so insert number 149. I love this one. This is a throwback to that old Pacific set. Very, very cool. Another Mahomes insert. So this is the X Stars Gold number 250. And this one actually has a decent shot despite the foil you know, borders. Really think that one has a shot. Otani Deckle Edge. I've done so well grading these guys. Let's see. Select. This is the Artistic Selections case hit. Another Deckle Edge. Then this is the Phoenix Rookie. I believe it's the orange number to 199. And then we've got an Otani. This is number 299. It's the purple refractor. Move this a little bit over here. All right. So blank slate. This is one of my favorite Mahomes inserts, especially for the new year. I haven't got to, a chance to really take a look at these in hand, but these are awesome. Really, really cool from the Origins product. This is the new Donruss. So this is one of the, the inserts from the new Donruss. Then also a Phoenix. I'm definitely on a streak for Mahomes right now, especially inserts. Okay, since they came out with the Chrome version, I'm not really excited about the base, even though I have a bunch of these base. So of course they release a Chrome version for everything, devaluing the, the original, but at least I've got some Chrome Julios from Allen and Ginter. Got a pretty old school Vince Carter. This is from 2015-2016 Select. So autograph. Number to 99. And then a Shohei Otani Mini. This is a gold refractor number to 50. So yeah, great time to pick up some Shohei's. Another Aaron Judge. This is the one Jordan Walker that I have left. It's like, let me get an autograph. Cheap, hopefully, before he gets called up. And of course he's called up, so... Could probably flip this immediately, but I'm likely going to get it graded. I actually think he's probably going to hit pretty well. We'll see. We'll see how the season starts. Wander Franco Blue. Randy Johnson Gold Refractor Autograph. Then a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Autograph. So I've graded a couple of these PSA 9s, PSA 10s. I've got another order where I just got absolutely butchered by PSA. Whew. Butchered, butchered. Another 45% gem rate. So... A lot of cracks in that. It's going to include a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I think, that came back in eight, which will be cracked. Uh, Youth Quake. This is Julio Rodriguez. Then HMT 50. This one's got a bunch of tape on it. Can't wait to get that off. As well as this one. This is the HMT 40. Then Julio Rodriguez All-Star. Again, all these, again, the intent is to buy and grade because these are typically cards that I've either done well or I think I can do well on. Again, it's all going to depend on the grader. So right now, that is the key. It depends on who the grader is. So I got to get a sip of coffee. Okay. So next up, we got two more stacks after this. And then we're going to go through the PSA order. So we got a lot of cards to go through. All right. First up, Grant Hill. So Grant Hill, this is the Orange Pulsar Autograph. Number two, what is that? Number 30. Juan Soto, on-card autograph from the new Allen and Gunter Chrome. Then we've got a stack of inserts and rookies from either Allen and Ginter, but there's a couple other ones in here for Aaron Judge. I haven't opened all of them up. Julio Rodriguez, Silver Pack. 
This is the variation chrome for Ginter, for Julio Rodriguez. This is a Cowherkin Jr. autographed gold refractor from Pristine. And we've got something stuck to the back of it. Of course, Tom Brady. Another Tom Brady. So it's the second one of these that I've gotten. Another silver pack. These PSA 10s, still 125, 150. They're getting pretty strict on, how, on handing those out, unfortunately. Another To The Moon, uh, gold minted from Fire. This is the new Phoenix product, a super, super short print. I'm trying to get the Mahomes. I can't find any of the Mahomes that are popping up, but at least I got a Tom Brady. It's the Metropolis insert. Love, love, love that. This is a case set from Score, the new Score product. So this is the count, NFL countdown or the top rated player. So Mahomes number one. I thought that was really, really cool. Let's see, Shoei Otani Blue Refractor. This is a gold refractor from Triumphant, or maybe gold, just regular gold. Then Allen Iverson from Mosaic Autograph. Definitely nice meeting you as well, man. Appreciate that, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Can't remember if this is Ryan or if, if it's a different, because I met a lot of people, so you have to tell me your real name unless it's, unless it's the Bob Dylan. <laughs> uh, Decoled Shohei Otani. Then we've got a new way. This is a, a Joker rookie, which I forgot that I'd picked up one of those. Volcanic Trevor Lawrence. Super, super short print. And that's a rookie, actually. So that's from his rookie year. Uh, Anthony Hardaway, in flight select green, number 99. Another Julio Rodriguez refractor. And then also a Patrick Mahomes base. I have two of these, so there's another one in here. Shoei Otani Finest Flamethrower. So I sold the PSA 10 of this for right around 90 within the past month or so. So I got another one. Love this. This is one of my favorite under the radar insert cards from Rookie Year Mahomes. So this is the Mystique uh, insert from Illusions, I believe. So really, really cool card there. And then the Variation Chrome, uh, again, from Allen and Ginter. So we have, yep, have not gone through these. All right, so... We've got another um, Aaron Judge rookie. There's my Patrick Mahomes, the second one, and apparently a third one. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold Refractor Auto. Another Vince Carter autograph. This is a Shohei Otani Gold Refractor from the Pristine Borders, so Gold Refractor number 250. Tops Chrome, another one of those. Man, I love, love, love these cards. So there's a stack of these uh, MJs. There's a couple of different versions in here. I sold this PSA 10 for like 150 bucks. This is a dollar or two dollar card. <laughs> so I wanted to buy more of these. I absolutely love this card. That is the coolest picture of MJ you're ever gonna see. <laughs> it is such a cool card, man. Uh, let's see, Luminance Dynamic. And in case people didn't hear, I'm a little bit under the weather. I went on a, a work conference this past week and then immediately went into the Phoenix show. So at the work conference, uh, I don't know what happened, but apparently I got a, a bug out while I was out. So I've essentially lost my voice and I've had a bunch of coughing and gunk coming up. So having to deal with that all the show and then also talking, my voice is essentially like gone. So that's why I sound like I'm talking out of my nose. It's probably because I am. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Rookie Revolution. Love. Trevor Lawrence is going to be a great offseason pickup. I wouldn't hold on to him during the season. I mean, it's all going to depend on who does well. And, of course, Mahomes is going to be doing well. So I'll buy him and hold him. But I think he's going to be a great offseason pickup. Miguel Cabrera, another autograph from him. All right, one more stack, and then we're going to go to the expensive stuff. Or at least the stuff that came uh, in those eBay authentication cases. All right, so Michael Jordan game jersey from Fleer. This is a Travis Kelsey X-Fractor, rookie. Kevin Durant autograph from Optic, not serial numbered. Love this card. Oh, this one's cool. I love this. I tried to get a gold and an orange, and I just couldn't do it. But Shohei and a an, uh, Trout Sapphire, numbered to 75. Really, really cool card. Buster Posey. This is a tribute autograph. 2013-2014. Can't remember. 
Another X-Fractor from Travis Kelsey. These PSA 10s do so well, and PSA does not hand them out at all. <laughs> they don't hand them out at all. Maybe Beckett will, so we'll see. Maybe I'll send some to Beckett. Two Sapphire Julios. These are the first two that I've gotten from, from uh, Sapphire. The only two, actually. Uh, Topps Heritage Purple Refractor Julio. This is a Frank the Tank. Frank Thomas. It is a orange. It is an orange. Number 25. Another Patrick Mahomes. Rookie. 2 p.m. Hopefully it's clean surface. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely Shohei. Gold Refractor number 50. Gosh, I've got so many Shohei Otani gold refractor inserts, which I'm excited about. Deco Edge. Man, Shohei is the way, man. He is the guy to buy. I've been saying it for a long, long time. It just took a World Baseball Classic for people to actually pay attention to for him to strike out Trout. That was epic. I did not get a chance to see it. I was flying into my conference and got into the hotel, and I saw people screaming at the TV and was like, what in the world is going on over there? But come to find out, that was the moment that Otani was striking out Trout. And I was like, man, I missed that live. So I could only see the highlights, which kind of sucked. Totally forgot that that was happening, too. All right. James Wood, Pink Mega, number 199. Mahomes Sensation Tie-Dye, number 25. Got a couple of the Otanis. I have the hitting and the pitching national, the national rookies. These are number to 199 or number to 99. Wow. Okay. That may be parallels. Thought they were number to 199. Because I've graded a couple of those before. Uh, Max Scherzer, rookie. Pink Wave. This is the rookie debut, Julio. Pink Wave. Star Watch Mahomes. Man, I love these inserts. That's the one thing I'm going to miss about Poop, Poopini is I do like the inserts they've been making lately. So I'm hoping that Tops or Fanatics, whatever they make, hopefully they make some cool inserts. It's the only thing I can give Panini is the insert game is, is actually pretty good. Kershaw, this is Gold Refractor. Paul Goldschmidt, Tops Chrome Cosmic Autograph. This is like the Orange Galactic. Then, of course, I got two Mahomes stained glass. I'm not just going to buy Brady's. I'm definitely going to get some patties. So I got two of those. All right. We are almost through the raw card purchases. The last thing is this. So I got a stack, and they're all the exact same card. So these are the Otani Ichiro from 2018 update. He has... A bunch of different versions he has a pit pitching version he has a hitting version then of course he has all the versions that are short print or super short print but then he also has this one which is kind of cool so it's the japan's finest it's card number 153 i think this is a pretty cool card psa 10s are like 60 70 80 bucks i don't know if they've gone up since then but i think i've got 50 of them here so the, the seller had other lots and it looked like he was just sitting on cases of this stuff that they had opened up so I think I paid like maybe 500, four or 500 bucks for all of them. So about $10 a card. So I may grade some of these. Well, I will grade some of these. We're going to see just what I do with all of them. Definitely not going to send them all in at the same time because I'm going to get smoked. That's all I do is like to get, uh, that's all they do lately is smoke me in terms of the grades I've been getting. All right, Cal Ripken Jr. This is an orange refractor autograph jersey from Topps Pristine. Love that set. And then a Miguel Cabrera autographed jersey. This is just the regular one. So I have these set aside because I am going to send these to Beckett. I'm tired of getting nines on that set from PSA. So the, the memorabilia ones are a little bit thicker. So I'm going to send those to Beckett. All right. So next we've got Aaron Judge. So this is a Dynasty autograph patch. This is the second Dynasty one that I have. The last one has a Beckett 9.5. And I have not shown it off on the channel. I promise it's coming it's coming it's graded over there it is so beautiful but this is the second one that i have this one is numbered to 10 so serial numbered to 10 so that one's good this guy did not get back but i'm going to crack it so this is going to go into the crack sl uh, slot so this is a beckett nine uh beckett nine i think that i can actually do a little bit better than this so i'm going to play the crack and resub game with that one all right, these came eBay authenticated. So Patrick Mahomes Silver from Donner's Elite. 
Mahomes base optic. That one's probably got a chance at maybe a 9.5 from Beckett. Probably not a 10 from BGS. Man, I don't know what to do with these. These are red parallels. And you know Mahomes, red, number 99, rookies. I think that's a safe place to be. Even if it's not the base card, like the base optic obviously is the one to get. But man, I just think PSA is probably going to hammer these things. PSA is just hammering everything. So I can't imagine them really treating these nice. So I'm debating sending these to Beckett of all places. I know it sounds horrible, but at the same time, I know that I will at likely get an accurate grade, or a higher likelihood of getting an accurate grade. So we'll see. Also, Patrick Mahomes contenders. This is a sticker, but at least it's the original autograph. It's his you know, first version. It's not the squiggly that he does now. So that one's pretty cool. I did buy this one, and I like that. I like that it has the original autograph. Also have a autograph patch from Honors, and this one looks really, really clean. Still in the uncirculated holder. This one is also going to go to Beckett. It is serial numbered to seven. So that one's really, really cool. Just bought a Devers Dynasty. Nice. Very, very cool. Yeah, I sold a couple of Dynasty autographs at the show. I sold, I believe it was a Freddie Freeman PSA 10 Dynasty. So I did really, really well on that one. Um, these two I sent to PSA. They are actually a part of the order that we're getting ready to go through. And they were not graded. So these are Cristiano Ronaldo Leaf autographs. Yes, I know that they're super, super cheap brand. But they would not fit in PSA's cases. So they sent them back with these little stickers on them saying that they're not going to fit. So that kind of sucked. So I wasn't too happy about that. So I have all of these set aside because I'm debating. These, Beckett for sure. Beckett for sure. Beckett, Beckett, definitely Beckett, not going to PSA. Definitely Beckett, not going to PSA. And you're going to see why. Because this next order is just absolutely ridiculous. All right, and then these, we're going to see. All right, here we go. PSA order time. So before I jump into the PSA order, I'm at least going to talk about this board that you see. I'm sure everybody's probably got a little bit of questions about it, like what's going on over here? So this is one of the coolest things that I did at the show. Basically what this board is, is it's kind of a form of Yahtzee, but it's not really a form of Yahtzee. So the squares go from six all the way down to 36 in this bottom corner over here. You can't see it all, but essentially there's six dice. And if you roll the dice, you add up what the dice are and you get the card that is on the board. And what I've done here is I've, I'm a pretty transparent you know, host in terms of running my operations here. So I like to show people what the odds are of hitting specific spots. Obviously this is the most common spots here, but I have the odds showing what the most common, uh, what the odds are of hitting the spots. In order to roll six sixes, which would give you a 36, to one in 46,000, as opposed to 26. If you roll a 26, it's one in every 20.8 rolls. So. The way that you would design the board, obviously more common stuff here. The harder to get cards are going to be far out on the corners, either low numbers or high numbers. But essentially what I would do is do $10 per roll. So I had two boards designed. I didn't have enough space to do both boards. But essentially we did, uh, I just did one board, $10 per roll. And that was enough to keep foot traffic coming to the tables and I would sell a bunch of other stuff also. So this is a great way to bring people over to the table and you know, I did really, really well off of this. So this is going to be a staple of every show that I go to just because it's fun. It's a great way to get the kids involved. I had a couple people hit some really big cards off of it. One person hit a Joe DiMaggio game jersey. Another person hit a PSA 10 Julio Rodriguez. Another person hit a LeBron James rookie. Um, and then even the common stuff here, like I had a Barry Bonds jersey, a Patrick Mahomes jersey, Shohei Otani jersey. Of course, there's going to be some base stuff here, like a base Julio Rodriguez card, etc. But, you know, overall, you know, it basically washes out where the advantage is about a 10% advantage for me. So for every $10 that somebody gives me, there's about $9 in value back. So it's about a 10% house edge is what you could say. But overall, it was really, really fun. So, so a couple of kids hit some really, really big stuff. Another person just randomly hit, a, again, a Gary Payton autograph PSA 9. So really cool way to engage a lot of different types of people, bring them over, generate some buzz at your table. And I thought it was pretty cool. Really, really, really cool. 
All right. PSA order time. Now we're going to jump into these. Let's do this first stack. So I've got four stacks. I'm telling you, man, they're not going to be pretty. So I know some of these are not going to be gradable all that well. So this one came back a six. And again, I'm not expecting it to be higher than that. But we got Michael Jordan, just a hodgepodge of people. I think these are apparently all the people that MJ beat up on. I think that's the purpose of this. Although Walt Frazier, I don't think he played with Walt Frazier. <laughs> and he played with Steve Kerr. So he beat up on Hornacek. I think he beat up on Spud Webb. Maybe in the dunk contest, but Spud Webb got... Did Spud Webb beat him in the dunk contest, or was it Dominique? I know Spud Webb won, but I can't remember if they went head-to-head. -head. But anyway, so this is just a random, random card. Uh, the next one, a little less random. So we've got Jordan, Horace, Grant, Pippen, Kerr. And then on the back, we've got some bad boys, and it looks like Isaiah has a patch. And somebody got some goo that I got to wipe off. So again, this is brand new, fresh from PSA. People have their greasy fingers, and that's what's left. Gross. Looks like somebody like had a snot one. Actually, this is a card I'm going to crack out, likely. So I don't know why this card is an 8. I really don't. Unless there's surface issues, I'm going to take a look at it. This is PSA 8, and this is actually... Game worn is what it says. Match worn, game worn. So Ronaldo, Messi, Duel, uh, PSA eight. So it's kind of hard to rare to find those. And then the onslaught begins in terms of just getting hammered. So I uh, figured this was going to be a nine. Did not expect this to be an eight. But autograph patch, King Griffey Jr. This is a patch. It's a weak patch, but it's at least a patch. Then we've got Fat Albert. So this one came back a nine. So the gem rate on this order, ding, 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 26%. And whenever it gets to some other cards here, we're going to explain a little bit about the math for how bad that is, especially when it comes to Topps Chrome Black. So, all right, so autograph patch, Bryce Harper, PSA 9. I don't think I got a single PSA 10 on, lum on Luminance. I think I struck out on every single one. So uh, Pete Alonzo. And then a Ronald Acuna Jr. Also had, so I sold a couple cards from this. I also had a Juan Soto that was a PSA 8. <laughs> sold it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, Chipper Jones. This one did come back a PSA 10. It's got a weak patch, though, but at least it's a PSA 10. This one's a little bit nicer patch. At least color is a little bit different, but PSA 9. This one's definitely deserving of a PSA 8. I just wanted to get it slabbed. You can see on the back, it's got some chipping and edge wear near the top. But yeah, so it's PSA 8. Let's move these guys over here. So next, PSA 9. This is sent in an uncirculated sticker. So Kershaw, Kemp, and then uh, I believe D. Gordon. Is that who it is? Yeah. So this is an older, older card. Um, you know, at least one of the 2012. So it's pretty early in Kershaw's career. And then I also had an Optic PSA 9 base Mahomes. I sold that for basically around $400. Um, and then this one was also came back an 8. So that one came back an 8. Great. Lots of 9s, lots of 8s in this order. Yeah, th this one actually made me a little bit infuriated, or infuriated just opening it up. I was not, not happy. This is one of the bright spots in the order. Got an Elijah Green Blue Wave PSA 10. Then this is also a bright spot, Kevin Durant, PSA 10 Optic. Another PSA 10 Optic. These are on card. This is a PSA 10 uh, Mosaic Fast Break. PSA 9 Red Fusion. And I had one more select on card autograph from his Th Oklahoma City Thunder days. And I sold that one for about 175. It came back a PSA 9. So this one is a PSA 8 from Encased. I think this is probably the lowest graded in the pop. Purple Refractor PSA 10. So Julio PSA 10. Seven. All right. I sold the PSA 9 in here for $75. I also had a, a PSA 9, but I sold it at the show for $75. Uh, red, or let's see, Pink Wave. Pink Wave Refractor PSA 9. PSA 10 Pink Wave, PSA 10 Pink Wave. So I did good on these. This is the stack that's probably the best. PSA 10, P 
PSA 10. Didn't know I had this many. PSA 10. This is a wood mini. I think it's short printed to 20. I believe there's 20 or less. So this one is a PSA 10. It's one of the lowest pop ones there. This, these are not in this order. Are they in this order? Uh, yeah, they are in this order. You're right. So this one I knew had a issue on the back. It actually has a, a very severe back uh, edge issue. So right, or sorry, surface. So you can see it right there. It's like a crease in the light. So I saw that, but you know, red refractor, whatever. Uh, Freddie Freeman, PSA 9. And then Steve Carlton, PSA 10. Or PSA 9, not 10. All right, here comes the fun stuff. Fun, 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 fun. All right. So, I remember doing this live stream, or did a video before, and I was showing, look at all these cool cards. I'm going to do a video showing the raw, the PSA grade, and the Beckett grade for the next four to five cards. So, first up, Albert Pujols. This one's a nine. Next up, Shohei Otani 1 is a 9. So keep in mind, before I go any further, at the time that this order was graded, there were about 150 Topps Chrome Black autographs that were graded, and the gem rate was 65-66%. I graded 35 or 36 Topps Chrome Blacks, I got six gem mint cards, a 16% gem rate. So you can't really tell the surface on these cards. The only thing you can look at on the back is the edges in the corner. So whenever I buy them, I only buy the sharpest corner, corner sharpest edges. So the population gem rate for 150 cards up to this point was 66%. My grader gave me on a sample of 35 of them, six gem mint cards. So that grader can just complete waste of money and on the upcharge email that I got from my upcharge person for whatever card got upcharged I got really really nasty with them I'm starting not nasty I'm starting to get really snarky I'm like wow your graders are awful they're absolutely awful so PSA 9 so all these these are the ones that I'm gonna crack and I'm sending back with the Beckett guy cuz I'm, I'm sending these to Beckett and I will be absolutely doing a BGS or PSA to Beckett crossover, just showing the results. I'm tempted to crack every single one of these, <laughs> to be honest, but it's really not worth it, especially for like a Dustin Pedroia or even a Pudge Rodriguez Gold. But I mean, it's just literally nine after nine after nine after nine. This is the equivalent of a greater of death minus that first couple of stacks. Eight on the one. Nine. At least I got a 10 on Mariano Rivera. I got two Mariano Riveras that came back at 10. That's a good one because at least he's a, uh, a good person who sells at least. He sells really, really well. So, but jeez. And I got a Miggy that's a 10. One Miggy. One Miggy that's a 10. All right, the last stack. Last stack here. So last one. We've got PSA 9 Miggy, PSA 9 Miggy, this is the gold, PSA 9 Miggy, this is a 9 for Mike Schmidt, 10 for Mike Schmidt, 9. So this is a seven, and the seven has a little bit of an issue down here. Let's see if I can get it in the light, right, right in here, right where that light's refracting. So it's got a little bit of an issue. Glad that I got a Nolan Ryan. So this is a color parallel number, or number to ninety-nine. So it's green PSA ten. Ozzy Smith, Wizard of Oz. Paul Goldschmidt. I would have had, rather had anybody else gem in this outside of Paul Goldschmidt. <laughs> so I've got I already have too many of his PSA tens from Topps Pristine. PSA nine. I got two of them. He was two of them. PSA ten. Paul. Robin Yant was a nine. 
Ryan Sandberg was a nine. And then Vladdy was an eight. Roger Clemens, this is an orange refractor. Jersey, PSA nine. Luckily, I got a 10 on a Bryce Harper. So this is Bryce Harper gold or orange. It is orange. Orange, PSA 10. Then Jason Robertson, PSA 10. This one really, really, really bugged me, and it's why I'm not going to send my big card over to uh, PSA. This is a Bowman Chrome X uncirculated that came back at PSA 9. That's not an X Fractor line. That's just the fencing in the background. But this card is numbered 1 of 5, I believe. Oh, it's on the front. Yes. So it's numbered 4 of 5 on the front. L.A. De La Cruz, Bowman Chrome X. It's not his first, but it's the, the first year. And, man, these things usually grade out so, so well. <laughs> I can't really see much of an issue. They're uncirculated. It's not like it's an autograph where a human touched it with their fingers and it may have smudges or something like that that needs, you know, surface wipe down. These should be pretty clean. So, man, this one's getting cracked out also. So this one's going to the crack pile, and then we are going to be sending that to PSA. So let me see if I can find my Julio real quick. I do want to compare... So these were the two Bowman Chrome X's that I've got in the order. So one is the Ellie, then Julio. So both of these, or this one's going to get cracked and go to Beckett. This one is going to get probably opened up, or I may, I may send it like this, um, but it's definitely going to go to Beckett. So I, I'm not going to pay, you know, two hundred and fifty dollars to get this card graded and have it come back a nine i'm just not going to do it i'm going to send it to beckett they're going to get it graded it's going to get the grade that it deserves which is a, a nine five likely i don't think it's going to be a pristine 10 but it will be a nine five but i'm not going to give psa money hand over fist to just nine it and make me crack it and send it to beckett afterwards so i'm, I'm done with that so this one's also going to correct and it's going to go to beckett and I'm hoping that it gets the grade that I think that it's going to get. So we'll see. Then these are also also going to be going to Beckett. So Ronaldo's. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with these guys. Because I'm at the point where I don't trust PSA at all right now. Um, then these guys are certainly going to be going to Beckett. Mike Trout. Shohei Otani. And then we've got Mahomes. The Dynasty patch. And I think that's it. All right. So I'm going to just close off a little bit just with some strategy before I'm going to end this. Just maybe the last couple of minutes talking about some of the grading strategy that I'm going to try to do over the next couple of months. Um, PSA's really, really irked me. This is probably the worst order that I've had this year. It's, but the other orders that I have are not, a, not as bad. So I have a 180 card order sitting over there. It's about, again, 44, 45% gem rate. 256 card order, which some of these cards I'm gonna crack came from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal that, but I wanted to pull those out first because I'm gonna send them to Beckett. Uh, 44, 45% gem rate. I have a 415 card order that just popped. 44, 45% gem rate, somewhere around there. Um, the previous live stream that I did that had 300 plus cards was 78%. It all depends on what grader that you have. Me talking to people at the show, uh, dealers who are submitting, it's the same things that you're likely seeing from other YouTube channels. It's the same thing that you're likely reading online. People may send in an order and they may get a 70% gem rate. The next one they may get t high 20s, 28, 29. Then they may get a 30 or 40. It is completely inconsistent. The consistency with PSA is a zero out of five right now. Um, if you send in cards, you have no idea how those graders are gonna grade those cards, which is why Beckett, they're not perfect in terms of consistency. Um, I think whenever you have big cards in a Beckett holder, it still commands you know, attention and a premium. You know, I sold some Beckett Slab, I sold a lot of Beckett slabs this, this show. I have obviously more PSA, 
But I had no problem moving Beckett slabs, you know, with the right cards that are in them. Um, I'm still not as sold at SGC and CSG, even though they may be consistent in some ways and even more so than PSA. PSA's name still sells. But the door is wide open for Beckett. Like, oh my God, if Beckett can just get their act together, their past five years of sins can literally be alleviated if they just fix their operations. They could literally steal back the market because I think people are so fed up with PSA right now. The upcharges, the odd delays, the um, you know $19 fee as opposed to the $15 fee or the continual dropping, but then the inconsistency. It's getting to the point where it's just, I don't think that PSA is nearly as, as worth an opportunity to explore as opposed to you know a different grading company like a Beckett. Beckett's the only person I think that can do it. SGC and CSG can't do it. They're just, they're not gonna have the traction in terms of resale. Beckett still can do it. They're not gonna have the resale like a PSA in every single card, but for some of the like autographs and patches and thick cards and even high-end color autographs and Bowman Chrome first prospects, they still have good track records with those and I think that they'll still do really, really well with them. Um, but for those of you who are watching afterwards, I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Are you having similar experiences with PSA? So I'm kind of, I'm so fed up with PSA right now. I've got a lot of the raw cards that you see here. These are the last ones that I bought before I saw all these cards pop. So more than likely, if the trend holds, we're going to see a lot more, you know, 40, 50%, 40% gem rates or less. Um, from some of the orders that you're going to see, I'm going to open these up and you know, slowly reveal these out on the channel. A lot of the nines, I'm going to likely end up popping. Um, from some of the key cards that I just know that I can do better. I'm going to be doing a lot more experiments just to highlight the inconsistency with PSA where I'm popping them out of their holder that it's a nine or an eight. I'm going to resubmit them and, you know, see, tally it up, you know, see how off are they in terms of, you know, incorrectly identifying nines and eights. Cause I li literally think that they're given a quota right now and they're saying, Hey, you know, if it's a 50, 50 card, go down, go to the lowest grade. Don't bump it up to the highest grade. You know, don't send out orders with 80% gem rates or higher. For me in 2017, that was the norm. I didn't get gem rates below 80%. You know, 2018, 2019, that still held up pretty true. 2020, things changed. Uh, 2021, they got what seemed to be worse. And then, you know, now it's the norm. So low gem rates appear to be the norm, whether it's a quota, whether it's, hey, you know, if it's a borderline card, go down instead of up. You know, inconsistent graders. One grader may give out 78%. They're probably going to get yelled at by their manager. <laughs> so the next time they're going to give out 40%. Bunch of wild theories, but uh, it you can clearly see it in the D in the data and the numbers, etc. Like these Topps Chrome Blacks again. This set right here has a 65, 66% gem rate prior to my order popping, and out of all the ones that I send in, I get basically a 16, 17, 18% gem rate. That's not consistent. Uh, on that large of a sample size, it's not like it's a handful of cards, it's 35 cards across a variety of different players, and I get a 16% gem rate. So, PSA, you can suck it. <laughs> not, not happy about that at all. So, again, like to know what other people think on here about that. Um, if you talk to me at the show, you probably heard a little bit about that if you were asking about PSA grading, because I talked to a lot of people and a lot of the dealers are having the same experiences. So um, something we'll have to give with PSA in 2023. I mean, unless they're going to keep hammering down on, you know, Pokemon and, you know, all of the, the trading card game stuff and just leave sports behind and just keep hammering sports by handing out good grades on the, the Pokemon stuff. That seems to be their niche right now because they're, they're doubling down on Pokemon stuff. But Everybody who's a dealer in sports cards are pretty frustrated. So I think that's all I got. I try to get this done in about an hour or at least uh, a little bit less than an hour. So thank you guys for waking up and sticking it out with me. Again, anybody who catches this after, I know this is about 30 minute notice. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit more videos coming up again. I'm going to try to get some of these orders sent out, but also some videos uploaded on YouTube just to do some recaps of some of these um, and even some financials coming in a little bit too. So all right, guys.